And hello, everyone. This is Daniel with the Legacy of Daniel podcast. Thank you for joining me today. You are listening to the Paper and Pencil Show. This is one of my uh, several uh, mini podcasts inside the larger show that I have started. The show is all about writing and creativity. Here I try to encourage everyone to pick up that paper and pencil and begin writing. Whether it's just a sentence, just a word, or maybe you just write a paragraph on one sheet of paper. Start writing more, and I guarantee you that your life will become more beautiful. Writing is somewhat of a pathway to unleashing our creativity and also helping with our mind and body becoming strengthened. Creativity has a very unique way to strengthen the mind and body. And when we combine it with writing, which is a exercise, it can have profound effects on our life, our mind, our body, and ultimately helping us lead our life in a direction that cultivates an identity through our creativity, making our life more beautiful, which is the ultimate goal of this show and of this, you know, the podcast in general. And I believe writing can help each and every each and every individual truly build a more beautiful life for themselves and others. When we think of writing, we always may think of the most difficult task ahead of us, writing a novel, a short story, or a poem that everybody may love. But oftentimes, the best writing that anybody can read, do, or partake in is just a simple journal entry every single morning. It could be from a journal prompt. It can be from just an idea, an observation. I personally like to go on walks in the morning, and I have been recently coming up with ideas on my walk that I could discuss, and I discuss them through a journal entry, and then I slowly, through the journal entry, begin cultivating some ideas through the word usage of my entry into perhaps developing a short story or even just a writing prompt that will provide some, I guess, maybe energy, insight, or just some, uh, a few words that may just kind of turn on a light in my brain to begin this additional phase of perhaps taking what I've written in my journal entry from my observation and my morning walk into perhaps a short story or maybe include part of it into a chapter of one of my novels. So creativity is beautiful. Creativity is really all around us. And we just have to decide whether or not we want to participate in the world through our creativity, or do we want to participate in the world through compulsion that is coming from something that may not be directly linked to what we want, what we desire, what we need. Creativity is the key around all that and the key to really ushering in a beautiful destiny that you can ultimately take control of now. So this morning, like I try to do every morning, I went for a walk and I generally try to go for some breakfast. And on my walk, I try to take notes or I may record something but either way I am recording taking notes and I'm just just thinking trying to let my creativity go warming up my brain Uh, I enjoy you know journaling I enjoy making observations and leading it especially now since I'm working on becoming more of a of a writer and an author seeing what can lead to perhaps a story idea or perhaps filling in another chapter or filling in the blanks of another novel that I'm currently working on. The best way that I've discovered to do this is writing one page at a time. When we have these large books in front of us, or sometimes a large journal in front of us, we see it like, wow, I have have to write in all this. But we, we sometimes fail to see that you can write a wonderful entry, even write a wonderful story on a single page of paper. And that's really the emphasis on this on the show is I want you to really become comfortable with writing more through your creativity, your own creativity, your observable creativity, auditorial 
creativity, anything that leads you to developing your own identity and making your life beautiful through various means. Writing is what we are discussing on this show. And when you start seeing your story or your entry on just one single piece of paper, it does a couple things. Is that that single piece of paper now becomes a, not just an entry or a journal prompt or a response to a journal prompt, but it is the it is the key to the rest of the work if there is further work that comes from us. It's almost like a lens. You are looking through the rest of some potential work through this single page of words. Now, it ultimately depends on what you want from this. Do you want it just to be a single two-dimensional um, entry, or do you want this to be something that truly becomes multi-dimensional, that can continue to grow and can add beauty to your life through creativity. And that's how I want you to see this. Don't see things as just a two-dimensional apparatus. Creativity is multi-dimensional. You have to see through your work and see the potential and what it become, can become. And ultimately, the only way we can do that is being obedient to your creativity and that's why it's important to be simple with your writing and that's why i encourage you just use a simple piece of paper a simple journal and just one page a day to help you begin on your your writing journey whether it's trying to become an author or maybe you just want to start writing more journal entry just start at one page a day from that one page then slowly what you can do is start cultivating your writing. How can you change your, your wording? Can you use more descriptive words? When you start doing that, the single page no longer is just a journal entry. It's no longer just a, an idea for a novel or a short story, but it is the key to something further, and it is the lens that you are going to look through to the potential that this can become. Now, it may be a little confusing, you may not understand, and that is perfectly acceptable. But think of it like this, is that we sometimes, when we think of writing a book, we think of, we see the book at, in its whole. We, you know, we see the, the completed work at the bookstore or the bookseller. We see the completed work in, you know, in school. But the only time we see any type of work going into a completed work is if we're doing it ourselves. So, I mean, sometimes now on YouTube, yeah, you can you can see people going through their their works, and that that's a that's a beautiful thing because now you can include people to be uh, partakers, and it's always good to surround yourself with people with like interests. That is something that's very important to allowing your creativity to be unleashed. So when you want to see this, you don't want to just have a end story. You want to, you really want to, what you want to do is you want to have a universe in your mind. Think of the biggest universe, the biggest idea, the biggest novel series that you can have. And I want you to write it all on one piece of paper. And through this one piece of paper, through this one entry, this beginning stage of your, of your project, you have nearly an, an infinite amount of ideas. So you're kind of reverse engineering. We sometimes want to start with a huge idea. We have a huge idea, and we try to start at the beginning. But sometimes we have to know the end, not just know the ending, but we have to know that there's a large enough universe to have enough ideas where our creativity can really flourish to allow ourselves to begin. I'm not sure if I have another way of explaining that, um, but I guess what we can ultimately think of is if you want to, let's say, for example, um, become healthier, you kind of have to start uh, small sometimes, uh, making changes, 
in your dieting and your behavior. And you know in the long run that you have to become healthier if you want to accomplish a certain goal or you want to get stronger or there's something that you're working towards. And so in between the end and where you're beginning is, you know, you're going to have stages. The more multidimensional you make that, the less uh, rigid structure, the better. The more you will be able to absorb various other ideas and be able to allow your creativity to be unleashed. And when you allow your creativity to be unleashed and you give it no strings and there's no rigid structure to it, you're going to grow and you're going to grow with it. And as you grow, you're going to see things, observe the world in a different lens. You're going to see it through your creativity. And as you do that, you can then start applying that, things that you learn in your creativity, to your task. In this instant, it's the writing. And so I know I've said a lot of things in this show that may be a bit uh, not always the most understood. Um, and I hopefully I'm not making it too complicated. It is not my intention. I'm just merely talking about some strategies that I have used and found helpful for me. But really, I'm just going to finish this off with encouraging you to pick up that paper, that pencil, and just just write just on a single page daily if you have a great idea perfect just start with a simple simple approach and just keep going on a daily on a daily basis page by page word by word however whatever keeps you writing and before i cast this off i forgot i do have a journal entry here from this my morning walk and i began working it into a Let's say, I guess a journal prompt, a um, story prompt, and I'm going to share a little bit of, bit of it here. So basically, I went on a walk this morning, and I just kind of wrote about my walk. We talked about the weather. You know, it's warm. It's 47 degrees. There's a slight breeze. I talked about the benefits of, you know, walking and how I wish the society would incorporate such a behavior change more, and we would use less automobiles. And then I discuss um, the prompt. And the prompt is the beauty of life. And I kind of go into a two sentences here of a potential beginning of a story. And perhaps something that I can include in one of my novels. And just, I have a character named Grace, and she's kind of in the beginning, she's discussing the current moral and religious structure that is kind of circling the world and is not really working to make her life or the world any, you know, any more beautiful. And she then goes on to believe that each individual should have their creativity for their own greater beauty and for the beauty and health of the entire world. And so that is my paper and pencil uh, show and entry for today. I'm going to keep this entry and I'll probably work on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can take this and continue to cultivate a story from it. And if I can, I'm going to share it here on this show. And hopefully you kind of see between this show and maybe some of the other shows how you can very easily start bringing a story together. So if you do want to start writing, you want to write a book or a novel, it's very, very simple. Don't look at the whole book. Look at just a single page and just start writing. 